Minshans was 96 here with another comparison video. This time I'm comparing all the Jatari figures from the Avengers movie. So here you go. So this was a requested review by Mirage19 IFY. The link to his channel will be in the in in this video somewhere, so you can click on that if you want. And uh, so yeah, so let's get started. So uh, they came out with two mini mates, uh, two versions of the Cindy Cordish uh, line, and then a Diamond Select Jatari. I did purchase them all, and I'm happy I purchased some. Not happy I purchased some others, but uh, but here you go. So here here's the comparison. So as far as the actual sculpts, let's just go over that really quick. The mini mates ones were fantastic because they gave us a general and a foot soldier, which was great. And the um, the general and the foot soldier have different looks, and they executed it, and they they develop the characters beautifully. They're completely accurate to the movie as far as the general has a higher lip on the top of his helmet, which they did, um, and the foot soldier does not, and they did that, as well as the general has the um, has the full uh, armor on his chest when the foot soldier doesn't, as well as a uh, the left arm shoulder piece. The general has a shoulder piece like that, um, which the Foot Soldier doesn't. They executed it beautifully, which was just fantastic and uh, highly accurate to the movie. We come up to the 3D Corinth line. I don't know what this is. It has aspects of a general and aspects of a foot soldier. It just, it doesn't make sense. It's not accurate to the movie whatsoever. And, uh, it's just, it's a shame because, I mean, the the general is no, there isn't a general or a uh, foot soldier that has full armor on one leg, which they have for the, for the three and three quarter inch one. Um, the armor is is only painted in some places on the one with the uh, the chariot, so that's more accurate. But as far as just the three and three quarter inch one, just really bad as far as accuracy. Didn't like that whatsoever. Then we move up to the uh, three and three quarter inch one, uh, or the diamond select one, excuse me, and um, this is perfect. It is a foot soldier and it has all the aspects of a foot soldier. Looks fantastic and I'm really happy with it. And then we go into, um, let's go over to paint. Paint I really do like with the, uh, with the uh, the Mini Mates ones. I think the Mini Mates um, capture the, the skin tone perfectly. They all have different color skin tones, but I think that the most accurate one, almost the most accurate one, is the Mini Mates one. It's an extremely light gray, uh, very whitish, which I think is I think is the most accurate. Then we come up to the Tinted Quarter Inch one, which it's a darker gray, but still it's kind of white. It, it's a decent skin color. I don't think it's accurate, but it's decent. Then we go to the one with the... Um, the, uh, the chariot. It's a very dark gray. Not accurate at all in my opinion. Really don't think that's right. Then we go to the diamond select where it's, it's a just it's a pretty pure white. I think that um, it's not accurate. They, they were a little bit more grayish than that but overall it's pretty decent and it could definitely be accurate uh, but it's hard to say. But I think the diamond select and the mini mates one definitely capture the skin tones the best. And then we go into armor and the armor uh, as far as color is really good. It's a very bright um, gold, which I'm not sure how 100% it is. I think the gold is better in the um, Diamond Select one. The three quarter inch ones, they're just nuts. I don't know what they're thinking with these guys. You've got one that's a pale, pale uh, gold, uh, I, uh, bordering on a yellow, and then you've got one that's a shiny, shiny gold that's that's insane. I did, they're not accurate, either one of them. I really don't like them. Uh, that They're pretty horrible. And then we go to articulation. Articulation on the Mini Mates, very standard for Mini Mates, and they're Four, very good. I, there's nothing wrong with it, I see. Then we go to 3D Corner Inch ones that have some of the worst articulation I've ever seen in figures. We're lacking any articulation in elbows, knees, wrist, or waist. It is a horrible sculpt. Really hate it and really don't like that. And then we go to the, uh, the uh, Diamond Select. Great articulation and uh, very standard for Diamond Select, which is fantastic. And I have no complaints over uh, Diamond Select's articulation. It's fantastic. And as, as far as accessories, the Minimates ones, uh, the Jatari used two different types of guns, and the Mini Mates ones gave us both of those guns, which was great, really like it. And then we get the, um, three and three quarter inch ones. The single three and three quarter inch one did come with a uh, gun that was accurate to how he had in the movie, but because of his horrible articulation, he can't even hold it very good at all, so it is pretty much a worthless weapon at this point, which is a shame. Then we come to the three and three quarter inch one, and he came with a, uh, a chariot. I thought the chariot was a great idea. I'm really happy that they made the chariot, and I uh, didn't think that they would, but they did it, and it works really good, and it's very well sculpted, even if it's more of like a half chariot, because the chariot in 
the movie had a kind of another section to it in the back. They didn't have it, but that's completely understandable uh, for the size and for the toy line that it was in, so had no problem with that. Overall, really liked the chariot a lot. Then we come to the diamond select. This is where the diamond select got really disappointing. No accessories. Um, I mean, they came with two different weapons that they could have easily gave to him, but they just didn't. It was a big shame. I'm really disappointed. I would have paid a lot extra just for those accessories because I think that that's just something that he needs and he doesn't have them. But overall, I think it's clear who I like the best. The, uh, the As far as the Trinity Corn Triggers, they are horrible. The one with the, uh, the cherry is actually, it's decent. I'll say it's decent. It's pretty nice. The one that's a single pack is horrific. I absolutely hate that figure and it made it as my number one worst figure of 2012 and I am still happy to hold that, uh, that he definitely was the worst figure that I purchased in 2012. Now onto the Mini Mates. Really like the Mini Mates. I think that are wonderful sculpts. They're the only one that gave us a foot soldier and a general and the only ones that gave us both of the, uh, the uh, weapons. I think that it's almost safe to say that I kind of like them the most if you just look at all aspects. Um, they are definitely the best if you look at all of that. But if you're actually looking at, you know, do you want a representation of the Chitari or do you want Mini Mates? If you collect Mini Mates, definitely get them. They're highly recommended. But if you actually just want a regular Chitari, the Diamond Select one is beautiful, really well done. Not a lot of, well, not any accessories, unfortunately, but it was really well done. And it did come with a piece to the bridge, which is a really nice uh, piece. And I think it's wonderful. So overall, some great figures here and then some horrible figures here. It's pr This is probably my comparison where I had the most, um, you know, one side because it's some of these guys were great, some of these guys were horrible. Haven't had a comparison like this before, but overall, really did like uh, the Jatari character, and some of the toys were executed really nicely.